our first hmm. class with programming logics and techniques. Hmm. Okay. Before using given TA, we need to understand how to use. Given a given. Given given. You just check kindly. Hello. Have to jigger only in that uh, that whatever zip file is there, no entire data. Hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. I have sent you this word file. Word file to you. Okay. So in which you study and you understand how to, uh, how to do a program on paper. See, there are some okay. signs for it. See, first sign. Okay. It is showing here an oval sign. It this is used hmm. for start. Okay. Then we have. Hmm. Another rectangle sign for process, tilted rectangle okay. for input. Okay. Uh, this type of rectangle for decision. Okay. And display or output we use this sign. Okay. Okay. These things I will tell you later. These are basically connectors okay. which used for paper work only. So I will not okay. tell you this. I will give you the brief. of it so this is okay. these are called flow lines or connectors so okay basic we need to understand we use this one for input this hmm. one for process and okay. this one for output hmm. start and for start and stop we use this one and for hmm. flow program flow we use these flow lines arrow new connector mm connector this what this is so now let's move to another figure this is used for decision this is used for okay process this mm. is rectangle used for input input, input. this oval type sign is used for start and stop and this sign is used for out okay okay now let's see an example of uh, program let us un uh, hmm. understand what the programming is suppose one candidate hmm. has to get admission in some institute the institute name is iic so what will be okay. the first instruction that it is to start it how we design this process hmm. in paper first okay. we need to start then hmm. the process will be goes to iicp center the first okay. in first process a student go, goes to iicp that institute hmm. this is a process then hmm. take the inquiry form the inquiry okay. form he is giving he is providing some information to the institute okay that's why yes. it is an input process he is he is okay. trying to input the information to institute then appear for a test that is a process hmm. and get counseling that is also a process then again fill the registration form he is providing information that is that's why it is input then the next process pay the fees when this process complete what is the output hmm. he joins the course and get the student and stop okay. so this is a, a sample process of a program hmm. this hmm. kind of coding we do for every program hmm. now <coughs> let's see if we have to add two numbers hmm. and we have to write a program for that so what we will do hmm. we will use start then get hmm. the first number we are hmm. uh, designing softwares so hmm. we are designing formulas not solving it we are uh, hmm. designing formulas to solve the problem so hmm. this process get the first number from the user it can be any number hmm. we hmm. give uh, the independent approach to the user we can enter whatever okay. so get the first number for user when the user enters it it is an input process input mm. 
then get the second number from user it is also input then add the two number uh, two numbers it is the computer's process a process calculation it is the computer's process so it is marked into process then mm -hmm. display the result we are displaying the result it is an output either we print or we display we have output devices like monitor and printer so whatever it is to be displayed it is the output okay sir okay then is stop so it is a performer now we have another one program start then accept first number like earlier program like previous program you can see we are accepting five numbers from user in input okay then in process what they, we are doing adding the five numbers and in output we are displaying the sum then end now in this case when you need to evaluate the product of Two, whatever the number user will enter here will be multiplied by two, mm -hmm. and the result will be shown to user. So input a number from user, then process. What will be the process? The entered number will be multiplied by two. Then it will display the result. Okay, sir. So this is one another program. Now. Okay. let us understand one more thing which is mm. necessary after that we will uh, write a program on vba okay sir we will understand about vba okay. so there is a two things like mm, variable and constant what is the okay. variable and what is the constant see you can see uh, mm. if i choose e2 e2 its name is mm. e2 whatever whatever value i am giving to it <coughs> that is it called is variable uh, that is called constant what is the variable okay. here this e2 sandeep this e2 the e2 will be hmm. its name forever whatever we okay. put the name will be same the name of the thing yes. will be same whatever value hmm. we put the name will be same as e2 so okay for keeping for storing values such as we don't want to store values on excel we don't we want to store temporary values on in our vba so where hmm. we store it in a variable these type of hmm. values which is which i i am entering it is called constants okay okay In short, you can understand. No, 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 no. One minute, one minute, sir. Yes. Here, no. Fixed variable. The whatever you are entering data, that will be variable, no? Which one? Hello. Yes, sir. Actually, here E two is the fixed, right? No, no. Hello. <coughs> Let us understand the process. In short, you can say the heading. in which value to be mm. will be called variable okay. okay how let's see this uh, an example if i mm. uh, declare a variable you say na integer what is integer so if mm. i declare a variable age as integer mm. okay the mm. integer mean constant is same the name age mm. will be same but the value can mm. be different the value will be called okay. constant and the heading will be mm. called variable so okay if we i am talking about this age it is a variable such as okay address it is a variable mm <coughs> is 21 if i talk about then it is a mm. constant because it is not referring mm. to any other value 
ओके टेन टेन थिंग्स पे कैम इट इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज नॉट रेपिंग टू एनी अदर वैल्यू हिंदी इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन सो इट विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस नेम सो इट इज अडिंग वेरी बी ट्रीटेड एज वेरी गुड ओके Likewise, one eighty five, constant. This is constant. Okay, so you can see the constant case is twenty one, ten Kingsway Cam Henry one eighty five. Hmm. Variables, age, address, and name. Okay. Hmm. So two things I have introduced you: variable and constant. Later okay. on, it will be stretched to more variables because I am hmm. giving you the categories only two categories. But there are lot of more. But base two categories yeah. are this one. So now let us see the program, yes, and we will make this program on DB. So what is it trying to display? Display the value of an item. Suppose you could go to a general store, you purchase mm -hmm. something, and there is a billing desk, and. Mm. It totals your uh, your whole order. Order. So see the program how they are using that. Start in process. They have declared variable. Variable need to be declared and it is a process. So okay. we have two types of uh, variable we use here. Yeah. Hmm. Character numerics. Hmm. Yes, Character in which. You will not calculate the values. Numeric, the uh, variable which is to be used for calculation. Okay, mm. such as price can be multiplied by quantity, and the uh, the value will be the multiplication of price and quantity. So for calculation purpose, we will use numerics, and for mm. just keeping the uh, reference of the record, we will use character. so we uh, to understand which one is character variable and which one is numeric variable we prefix c for character c item name and here n for numeric n price n quantity because hmm. my variable can be so weird because hmm. uh, if i am making a big project and there may be lot of variables and if i do not properly name them then the other guy will not understand about that that what he yes, is he has given his own variables so the other hmm. one will never understand that where you have used it because there are big codes in bgs and any other programming language so we have used this variable for temporary storing the values so as an input we take the item name from the user whatever the user uh, enters the item name will be stored in c item name that is an input process input then he enters the price input then he enters the quantity input these three got input in the system then what the system do n value equal to n price multiplied by n quantity this is the process but don't confuse with mm. this equal to sign what is mm. what is it actually doing the result mm. of price mul uh, the multiplication of price and quantity will be stored in n value n value uh, here equal to is behaving like an assignment operator the value assignment operator so the result will be assigned in n value will be stored in and value constant always store in variable mm. okay now mm. as an output we display the item name okay. and the value because there can be 10 items then how he okay. will understand that uh, which value mm. be, uh, belongs from which item so there is necessary to give item name also display an item name also okay sir so this is a base program okay. so here let us understand how to write this code on vba in vba 
whenever you want to write and code, you need this developer bar. Okay, that I am aware. Yeah. Yes. Developer, Visual Basic. Yeah. Go to Visual Basic. The available macro hmm. you will find here in macro. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So we will go in. We click on this Visual Basic. A separate window will be opened here. Open. Mm. Okay. Sir. Now where to program? We program in a module format. In no, no. One minute, sir. Sandeep ji. What? Hello. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. Actually, no. I will give no for my understanding. No. Okay. You can able to view my face. What, sir? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you able to view my file? Uh, no, sir. Hello. I I I will give. Hello. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. This, uh, this, this GL pertains to repairs and maintenance. Okay. Okay. This GL accounts. This GL accounts pertain to legal and professional charges. Okay. 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 Here I want to see. I want to whenever I will download the TB like this. If I download the TB, it will come like this. Okay. It another sheet need to come like this grouping data like this this groupings are there no type okay this total GL cost so if you see you no know, just I want to give one minute. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm. Hello. Yes, sir. You are able to see, no? So yes, sir. If I run, if this this grouping, when I take when I when I run download the TB, if I click macro, okay, this data this data can be abstracted into the data need to come like this grouping wise. So what I want to ask you is whether whatever I given here GLs are there, no? I want to save this grouping in macro. Whenever this GL comes, automatically it need to go for employee cost. Need to uh, group in employee. Need to. Add. I don't want to do VLOOKUP. Okay, I don't want to do VLOOKUP, right? Okay. Hello. I don't want to do VLOOKUP. Just I want to download the TB. Okay, like this oh. it will come TB. Okay. Okay, like this the TB will come like this. TB file balance. Here, okay, what okay. is the cost variance and all will be there. Okay, so okay. automatically in another sheet. Okay. This grouping, whatever I given grouping, okay, here okay. need to come. That so one grouping per time. If you see this, there are one grouping having employee cost, GL cost, multiple GL cost. Multiple GL cost. Right? Okay. Okay. So you got my uh, 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 requirement, no? Uh, you have a uh, you receive some type of uh, uh, sheet and you want to summarize your data, update your data with that sheet. Yes. Yeah. Am I right? So uh, you can do it, but you need to understand macro first. Mm. Okay. Uh, you have to start. No, the thing is, no. Whatever my if if my input to you can able to give clarity. I will have better idea. Uh, because in okay. the, uh, in this list, you need to understand that how to interact with workbook, uh, how to deal yes. with, with other data, how to deal with pivot table in VBA. Okay, because hmm. whatever you do, how, manually how you do it, what hmm. is the current procedure by Excel you are doing it, that can be hmm. transformed into macros in codes the manual okay. process okay. there is no automatic mm -hmm. process in there there are no, in this, logics no no you can mm. Use. Mm. the thing is no here already i defined these are the gl pertain oh. to these are the grouping no problem sir you want to uh, there are some uh, gl codes so uh, employee so one, one, one minute one minute one minute eh? gl code okay, okay.
already I defined this GL code. Okay. Okay. Pertain to this type. I mean, you see. I I, I, I understand you. I understood your point. Okay. Okay. So bank charges you are three types of GL. Okay. Always, always these are uh, say variable. Yes, yes. Okay, the figures constants may be changed. I know, I know. Uh, the, the, this, uh, the, the headings will be same, and uh, the mm -hmm. figures, the data will be changed always. Mm -hmm. The headings will mm -hmm. be same. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay, I am. I disturbed you. Maybe something. <laughs> no, the thing is, no. If I, if my requirement is unable to fulfill this, so I can able to betterly understand this. Yes, yes. But uh, for this, you need to understand full of our course, because okay. at least you need uh, how to deal with pivot tables, because you are doing manually mm. it. Our macro mm. also do with pivot tables. Because if you use mm. programming options with that, the object-oriented mm. programming options with that, your code will be very large and your computer will hang with that. So mm. what the best macro code code is that that finds the mm. shortest way for doing the same thing in Excel itself. So the shortest yes. way for doing this is pivot table. and we have to extract data from pivot table and we have to match okay. the headings and put the relevant data into that one okay so this you want to do for that you need to understand how to deal with pivot table but before that you need to understand the whole concept of programming okay okay because i am telling you the simplest one the first program mm. how you can write how you can understand that what programming is so what uh, what are uh, you doing uh, currently with recordings recording are simple interaction instructions you are not taking decisions on them you are not applying if code on them if loops switch cases are you using on that yeah Yes, you are using. Uh, the, uh, I am using for some cases, but others no. Sometimes we don't know the worksheets, the worksheet numbers. Sometimes the code is getting debugged. Sometimes what will happen uh, if I open another file? I am not able to run the current macro. There are several yes. problems issued I faced. Yes, yes, yes. There are small, small things. Hello. There are small hmm. things because programming is hmm. so much calculated. you uh, uh, provide step by step information suppose if you have referred to okay. b column how can you access c column so uh, the slightly mm. difference can de uh, 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 produce a bug in your code so that you okay. need to understand very deeply that how to mm. deal with programming okay mm. how to deal with vba codes how to refer to okay. other sheets how to find any heading dynamically okay suppose that if you want to find gl code the heading gl code and you want list so mm. uh, you can see by yourself that gl code is in b but how you mm. tell excel that where is gl code so what mm. you will do generally for that you press control f and find that gl mm. code now your active cursor will be will go in gl code and from there the whole list you can take you can okay. extract so uh, these are the ways you have to be very specific about the things hmm okay sir so uh, okay. let us understand our first program first hmm. then we will move away ahead okay so i am enabling my screen okay go ahead go ahead So I was telling, this is your VBA environment, and hmm. we do most of the code in module. Here you can see uh, this is my file name. There are Microsoft uh, Excel objects. That is our sheets, hmm. and this hmm. workbook it is used for whole file. 
uh, we hmm. if we double click that there is a programming environment here for every sheet okay. there is a different different programming environment we can we can write code here also but what happens okay. uh, the sheets may be deleted or inserted new so the sheet name okay. can be changed code can be changed so that's why we okay. always do programming in modules we will okay. go to insert and in module i will click so i will get one module here this it is the it will file. be recorded in uh, personal macro book or what no sir personal macro book I, i'll tell you uh, let me complete first uh, um, uh, with my first okay. program so uh, let me refer you to this word file which to this what is the sir, link i am not able to in that word file can you put it in one excel uh, which one from there you just write it how it will be refer ah uh, you shown some boxes no like boxes yeah. in word file yes 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 ha ah, ha ah, yeah okay so i am reconnecting uh, you with this program okay because there is something uh, okay. uh, confusing terms what is process what is input what is output you will understand when my uh, when i write okay. this first program okay so we need to start a program first so how we start in vba we will start sub sub means sub procedure okay then we write any name for it for our program title when we press enter so this is our starting point this is our ending point hmm. in between okay. we will write the code so we have done okay. start and stop okay okay sub and sub is necessary if it it is not coming automatically you can uh, put by your hand also okay. how you will identify your code code is going right because every keyword turned into blue then it is right hmm. if it is not okay. not every keyword with the uh, when you provide any name of macro when I, you declare any variable name so that will be in black rest other vba keywords will be in blue okay sir so we repeat once again sir repeat once again you can see there sub is coming in blue it it is in blue font and this is in blue font but abc okay. is coming in black font that means okay it is your creation and this these are the keywords from vba okay okay uh, uh, this is why because uh, some people do typing mistake so that uh, can be understood by this color coding hmm. so okay. second thing is declaration of a variable character and numeric hmm. so for character what we use here hmm. when we declare any variable how we declare dim c item name hmm. we provide dim keyword then our variable name then we type hmm. as and then we give character or numeric by we use string for characters okay sir hmm. alphabetic values and hmm. then we need to declare numeric values n price n quantity n value so we will declare mm. by dim keyword n price mm. we can declare uh, declare yes, multiple uh, uh, no no in in top row okay. dim c item name we put it no c means what c means character c prefix character okay character character so prefix. first if you if you read first name c the uh, macro can able to understand character name like that no no this is for human reference only okay this is for human reference because you are creating uh, the code if your subordinate want to read it how he will read it hmm so for that problem okay. this is the code concept built by programmers okay sir okay so uh, next we are declaring numeric variable hmm n price and quantity and value we can declare multiple variable by using comma n price hmm. n quantity hmm. and n value as integer 
इंटीजर में नोमैरिक वैल्यूज नोमैरिक पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज यू कांट यूज डेसिमल हेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज डेसिमल हेयर देन यू हैव टू गिव एज डबल ओके यू हैव अ इंट फॉर्मूला इन एक्सेल दैट रेफर्स यू वर्ड वर्ड द इंटीजर इज सपोज आई टाइप 9.5 I apply a int formula. That means integer. When you provide a number, mm. it will round the number. It will give you the positive, positive one only, without decimals. Mm. Okay, mm. sir. So that uh, integer means uh, without decimal values. When you want to use decimal, you can use double. Okay. Mm. So our start and we have done. This is our first process part. Okay, sir. so let us see the code process we have done then we need we have to take accept c item names as well as assignment is there the item name is assigned into c item name okay this is input so how we will type c item hmm. name hmm. equal to the user for what uh, hmm. what the things we use for user entry either in cell so we can take as range we can give the address also but we i want to show any input box hmm. so i have input box hmm. and when i start hmm. uh, start bracket then in inverted commas provide uh, the message for user enter the hmm. item name hmm. okay this is the message for user when hmm. i get down i see that i have typed in small uh, small letters but it is now in title case when this is happening hmm. it is okay the system hmm. thinks when it is changing its case then it is going right okay hmm. so what will happen the input box uh, what value the input box will get will be assigned in c item name okay okay so our first input process is complete then same as we have to get the more values how c item name uh n price n price and n quantity hmm and here i will change the enter the price enter the quantity quantity hmm so this is your input then we have a process what is that mm. calculation so here i will use mm. n value equal to mm. n price multiplied by n quantity okay this is the mm. process mm. and then we have to display the result c item name and mm. value so how will i display through message box or i can use the range keyword so i will use message box here mm. and what will i have give, give here in well c item name mm. the concatenation uh, sign and n value mm. do you know why to use this and sign for concatenation and mean concatenation concatenation okay okay you use uh, this in excel also such as mm. you want to join some yeah yeah that i am aware you can able okay. to concatenate or i can able to put and okay okay mm. so uh, this is the code for that okay. now let us run this program mm. enter the item name rice enter the price 24 Enter the quantity, two kgs. Okay, mm. this is the result. Rice forty-eight. 
ओके सर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मेट ऑफ कोड दैट हाउ टू प्रोग्राम नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू अनदर प्रोग्राम आई सजेस्ट यू जस्ट रीड इट वंस बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ मोर यूजिंग इफ कंडीशन देर आर डिसीजन इफ द नंबर इज डिविजल बाई फाइव और नॉट so there are different type of module so i will connect you to these codes there are multiple decisions multiple ifs are used here or here multiple ifs then you will get loop system okay okay because uh, these condition will this code will run three 10 uh, times up to this condition okay okay so just read it once we will get back you tomorrow for the demo again okay we will hmm. continue this chapter again tomorrow hmm. this is multiple okay one more thing. one more thing yes sir hello yes sir yes sir one more thing if you have for further more my understanding i can able to understand now variable integer a dimension do okay. you have any one one question like that for answers like this do you have any data if you just send it to me i will further more i will understand i will send you whole book of that okay okay sir okay so this one minute i want okay. to be very busy. okay